how do you collect context of previous iterations that you had with ChatGPT and pass into new instances of chat? Today, I'll show you how to do exactly that. And if you like this implementation series, please be sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel so you never miss out on new content like this. So here I have a code that we've uh, used before, where I use the completions npm module to instantiate a new chat object passing in my API key for OpenAI and the model GPT 3.5 Turbo. And I'm going to send a few prompts. So please continue the sequence ABC. What is the capital of Germany? How many times did the man go to the moon and pick a random number? And if I execute these prompts, it will give me a few responses. So just to see it, load index 2.js. So as you can see, the next letter is D, the capital of Germany is Berlin. The man went to the moon a total of six times and sure, a random number is seven. Now, if I create a new instance of chat, let's say, copy all this code, paste it over here and call it chat2. So now I have chat where I interacted uh, with the chat, sending some prompts and getting some response, but I also have chat2, which has no history and no context at all. So if I just copy this code here, paste it over here, change chat to chat2, and let's change the prompt to what random number did you pick? And I expect it to know nothing about this random number because it was a different instance of ch uh, chat that generated it. So let's clear this out and to the JS. As you can see, the first chat had the same response. So the capital is Germany, the next letter is D. The total of 12 men has went to uh, as part of NASA Apollo missions. Sure, he's a random number, 37. But my second iteration is, as an AI, I do not have the capability to random pick a number. However, if you want to generate a random number, you can use different methods, such as using a random number generator or by using mathematical functions. So this chat to instance has no idea of the first instance had as an iteration but thanks to the uh, messages objects uh, get messages uh, method and its objects i can get the context from the previous iteration and pass it to the second one let's do that by creating a new variable so const messages equals chat with is our previous iteration the one, one that we did over here dot get messages now this messages uh, will contain all the messages exchanged with ChatGPT. So all the messages that I sent to just ChatGPT and all the messages it sent me back. Now I have to get chat to and add all those messages to it as a new context. So after I create chat to, we're going to do for mess a const message of messages. So this will loop through the messages and uh, extract every single messages into this verb uh, of this variable. And every time we get a message, we are going to chat to, which is our new iteration, dot add message and pass in our message. So this will get all the history that chat has and pass it into chat to. So now after this completes, I expect chat to to know about all the conversation we had before. So if we just clear this, save it all, and run it again, index2.js, you see that the, pre the first iteration with chat is D, the capital of Germany is Berlin, a total number is a minute of uh, mission successfully than the astronaut, and sure, a uh, random number is 42. But then uh, on the second iteration, it all, uh, though it said it cannot, uh, generate the uh, random numbers, it remembered it was 42, the number it have chosen in the previous iteration. So it now has access to all exchange messages and all the contexts that uh, was previously used. This is very useful when you have, for instance, multiple servers and you need to fill in some contexts. So as your end users reach out to your servers, it, uh, ChatGPT will know about what the user is talking about. 
So this is a very good way for you to get uh, your conversations to start in a server and then maybe finish in another one. Perhaps you need to uh, get these messages and send from one server to another, but as long as you have access to those, you can fill in new context and get uh, good responses from new instance of the chats. So, if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you're already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or an implementation you'd like to see, please leave in the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.